What's up turtle fans? I am the White Foot Soldier and today we're going to have a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows Bebop and Rocksteady figures by Playmates Toys. I picked these figures up, um, I think it was about a week ago now actually, and I was highly anticipating um, opening them up and checking them out uh, for a while now. Um, and now we're finally going to be able to do that. It was hard to keep my hands off of these, but I wanted to make sure I got a review before snapping them open. So let's have a look. And we'll have a look at Bebop first. So Bebop comes on the new um, Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows movie card and blister. And if you saw my Krang review, um, I showed the back of the, the card as well. And we have all the figures that are going to be featured in this line. We have Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, and Michelangelo. Uh, we also have um, Disguised Turtles minus um, Donatello, um, Casey Jones, Splinter, The Shredder, Foot Soldier, and of course Bebop and Rocksteady. And as I mentioned earlier, I reviewed the Krang figure already, so be sure to check that, that um, review out as well. Let's unbox this guy. And it comes with the new leaflet, um, which I show in the Krang review. So if you want to check out that leaflet, you can go ahead and um, look at the Krang video as I show everything on there. I don't know if it's going to stand, so let me set him aside. All right, so here's Bebop. And we can see that Bebop comes with um, a few accessories, which I love love that they included some accessories with them. Seems like a lot of the new Nickelodeon Playmates toys don't come with accessories and I always enjoy when the figures come packaged with a couple weapons or some extra tidbits. So. Alright. Very cool. Well, I'm a huge fan of the sculpt right off the bat. So, let's zoom in a little bit and get some better lighting. And as you can see, we have Bebop Signature glasses. And they are, they are not removable. Um, this figure is well painted. Uh, I don't really see anything that uh, stands out too much. Some of the uh, spikes on his um, wrist pads there are I guess you would you would say maybe gauntlets. I don't know what you'd even call these, um, but you can see a little bit of missing paint on those. Uh, the rest are silver. Not really a big deal. There's a back view, and we can see his uh, ponytail from his mohawk goes the whole way down his back. And we also get the signature tail of Bebop. And when I first saw this figure, I was kind of uh, not a huge fan of the um, pink that they use. I was hoping for more of a, um, maybe a, a darker shade of, of pink, but um, it's pretty much, it's grown on me, I would say. I'm not really too concerned about it now. And like I said, when I first saw it, I wasn't a huge fan. Uh, but let me see the tattoo on his left arm and look at the sculpt on that belly I think that's that's pretty cool so side view and check out this full side view and we'll take a look at the articulation next and we get articulation in the waist we get a ball joint shoulder and they actually, this figure is not lacking in articulation, that's for sure. So far, I can already tell. Um, head and neck swivel. Oh, and actually, if you look at the back of the head, too, the uh, ponytail is not connected and um, to, the, to the mohawk there. So um, if you're going to take some backward shots, make sure to line that one up. Uh, we get some articulation in the elbow. And actually, I believe that's a... Is that a ball joint there? Yeah. yeah. We get a ball joint in the elbow. We get wrist articulation. 
Um, let's go down to the lower extremities. So as we saw, some waist articulation. And get a closer look at some of the paint uh, detail on the um, pants there. And we see the boots. So we get articulation in the knee area, ball joint in the knee, get a ball joint in the hip. So this guy features a lot of articulation actually. I'm kind of um, impressed and very pleased with, with the articulation. So the accessories that Bebop comes with are seen here. And we'll place them in the hands and see how well they fit in. And the, the accessories actually, let me point this out too, they're a little bit more rubbery. They're not quite as hard um, as some of the other accessories that you might find in action figures. These ones are a little bit softer. I've noticed that actually with, with this line in general. Um, I think it was Sh Shredder's uh, accessories weren't, weren't very sturdy. They were a little bit... Oh, that's kind of cool. You can even see that there's a padlock at the end of this chain, so... Like that in his other hand. And looks pretty cool. I'm really, really pleased with this figure. Finally got to open it and just have a couple more looks at him here. We can see on his chest um, we have a necklace. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, the paint's a little sloppy on there. It's kind of hard to see in the light. It's just a little bit sloppy, but. Nothing that really, you know, stands out too bad. We get obviously the um, nose ring, and the nose ring is painted on Bebop's face. And it looks like the jaw is actually a separate piece. So when they sculpted or molded this guy together, um, it's a little bit difficult to see um, in this lighting. But um, let me see if I can turn it sideways. You might be able to see it there. You can see that it kind of was molded on there. Um, so the head's not all one piece there. Um, let me see, there's something else that I just saw and was going to point out. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Uh, we can see the rings, well, one of the ring, one of the rings on his finger there. Um, and it is also painted. And this hand does not, not include any rings. But, yeah, this, this figure is really well painted. I'm, I'm really pleased with the articulation, the sculpt. Uh, very awesome. And now I can finally have him pose with my Krang and Shredder and Foot Soldier. So there's Bebop from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. And it's cool, cool vest. Um, the vest is more of a brown color. Um, it might be showing up a little bit reddish, and we get some spikes in the back there too. So I think we pretty much covered the basics for Bebop, so let's move on to Rocksteady now. And of course, Rocksteady. Um, I won't waste time with showing the cardstock or anything because everybody's already seen that. And of course the leaflet. And so there's Rocksteady. Comes with two accessories as well. Let's snap him out. Release him from the plastic. here too, so you yank them out too quick. Well, that actually sounds a lot harder than the other weapons that came with Bebop, so it might be a little more solid. Alright. Bless him out, he kind of feels a little bit hollow there, yeah you can See, so right off the bat, I was going to say, felt lighter than what I expected. And one of the reasons could be, if you notice a lot of the new Playmates figures, they are um, kind of hollowing out the bottoms of the feet. I'm not sure if that's cutting down some costs or what the reasoning behind that is. Uh, but here are both accessories. And they're fairly hard. You can hear them. So, um, they're a little... A little flexible but cool. So we get a baseball bat. It looks like it's colored. Um, I guess you could say a baseball bat, maybe a stick. Not sure what that's actually going to resemble, but it looks like um, some barbed wire around it. So set the accessories aside. 
and let's have a look at Rocksteady. So right off the bat, we notice some tattoos probably on the arms. That's one of the first things that I actually noticed. So there's a good look at some of the tattoos. Something else that stands out, it looks like a bracelet on his right arm. Um, it is missing some paint there. Um, so a tattoo on his belly. So um, this sculpt's really cool. Uh, the joints are a little bit looser than what I expected actually whenever we first came out of the package. Um, so let me get zoomed in a little bit better. There we go. Okay, we have the signature brass knuckles and the brass knuckles on his hand says your face so your face all right uh, we also get some um, our bracelet on this wrist as well but that is that is unpainted we get a necklace and both both necklaces are actually painted there uh, his vest um, has some sequence on it so there's some silver paint looks cool get the signature camo pants um, Signature skull cap with goggles, and you can kind of see. There we go. That's a good look. You can see that um, we do get some painted eyes, pupils. I don't think there are any whites on his eyes. It's really small, so that's kind of tough to even tell. Um, but no biggie on that. Uh, some nice military style boots. Pretty shiny. Looking good. Turn them around and get the tail it looks like there's initials on the back I don't know if that's N-F-I-S-K get some initials on his back there um, so yeah so there's a look at Bebop let's move on to the articulation of this guy the articulation head swivel get some ball joints in the shoulders ball joints in the elbows. It's looking like very similar articulation to Bebop. Some uh, wrist articulation. Uh, we get ball joint um, hips, ball joint knees. I don't know. Nope. So this guy does not have um, articulation in his um, ankles, which isn't a problem because he features a lot of articulation everywhere else. Um, Looks pr pretty awesome though. I, I like that sculpt a lot. I'm very pleased with with both of these guys actually. They, I think Playmates did an excellent job. Um, they painted. You can see the the horns painted. Actually, both horns are painted. I believe. Yeah, both horns are painted. Um, is there anything else that I'm missing? I think that's pretty much pretty much covers it. So, rock steady. Looks pretty awesome so let's give him his weapons let's see how he looks in here there we go all right pretty awesome figure so rock steady looking great let me bring up Bebop so we can get a side by side comparison. And we can see that Rocksteady looks a little taller. Um, obviously, Bebop is quite a bit wider. Um, but the proportions on these guys, I think that, that Playmates did a great job um, with the sculpt. You can kind of see even on um, the hand of Bebop, you can kind of see some almost hair um, follicles. Um, and even even on his shoulder, and even his belly has some like wrinkles. I don't know if that's meant to be the wrinkles, or maybe even some some uh, chest and belly hair. Um, so Playmates really really did a nice job. I'm so glad to finally snap these guys open and share them with you. I hope you enjoyed my review. Be sure to check out thewhitefootsoldier.com for all the latest Ninja Turtle news. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Uh, search for the White Foot Soldier. Uh, posting pictures all the time. I just picked up a couple new items, so. Um, I'll be snapping some pictures and posting them up. I'll obviously be posting some pictures of these guys up. And um, turtle power.